Hi everyone, it's Liesl. A while back I shared a Christmas journal and on the journal I used an altered domino on the closure. And I just want to, I had a lot of questions about how I'd made the closure. So I thought I'd just quickly make a video to show you what I had done. I'm not actually going to do it. It'll take long and I'm sure it'll be terribly boring watching me. So I'm going to show you everything I used and walk you through what it is that I did. Firstly, I got some dominoes and these are about three quarters the size of normal dominoes. So they're slightly smaller and they have a wooden type core. So they're quite easily easy to drill through. The plastic ones might be a little bit more hard work. Um, what I did was I took a Dremel tool, which is a little handheld drill tool, and I used a two millimeter drill bit and I drilled holes in the dominoes right here at the top. You can see, I'll stick the all through so you can see it there. And that drill bit should fit into almost any drill. So if you've got anyone with a drill, um, and you can get a drill bit that's about two millimeters, which I think is somewhere between a sixteenth and two and a quarter, probably a sixteenth to two sixteenths of an inch. I'm not sure. Um, you should be fine. Then on Etsy, there are many different digital downloads that you can get for altering dominoes. Here you can see this one says one inch by two inch dominoes, which I think is the general size for dominoes. Mine are about a three quarter by one and a half inch. So I just reduced the size when I printed it and then cut the images out that I wanted. Uh, here I've inked it with some vintage photo and here is the other image that I want to use which I've already glued to the domino. And I just use the normal Tombow green glue which is available locally but I think any glue would do. Uh, as long as you get a good stick. Because I've already drilled my hole through the domino, I can now push the awl gently through and make a little pilot hole. And my glue is still a little bit wet, but there it is. And then I can push the awl through, working it through all the way. And there is my new little hole. And you can see through it. So after that, you take the other image that you want to put on the back, you glue it to the back of your domino. And once again, once the glue is dry, please don't, <laughs> don't do what I just did. Let your glue dry, push the all through, make a little pilot hole on the other side, and then push through. That way you will have your really decorated domino with the hole clear. After that I used some Mod Podge, whatever was available where I am, and just sealed the surface. I did only one layer but in future I'd probably do two or three but it really is up to you and what you're comfortable with. Then to make the actual closure I used two hinge clips. I know Tim Holtz um, has them in sort of gunmetal kind of color. These silver ones went with the color scheme of my journal and are easily available where I am, but any inch clip would do. I used two medium sized jump rings to attach my chain and I buy my chain in bulk like this and just snip it with my pliers to the length that I want. And then I used two little charms which I also attached with jump rings to my chain but I couldn't use the small jump rings for the domino because the domino is quite thick you need a larger domino uh, a larger jump ring to go through the domino so the jump ring that I used was about I think it was three eighths of an inch or one centimeter in diameter and that went through the domino quite easily and gave it some movement. So that really is all 
that this closure is two hinge clips a bit of chain some jump rings to attach it all together and the altered domino which really is remarkably easy to do and uh, Etsy makes it so easy with the digitals that you can buy with beautiful images so that's it if you have any questions please just put them below I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can and I hope this helps those of you that were wondering how I had done it it's easy it's fun and I hope you give it a try thank you bye bye